Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, come on in. Good evening, good evening, good evening to all uh, on Facebook uh, checking in. Yeah, come on in. Hi, Sis Friday. Hi, uh, Sis Kamiko. Vicky. <laughs> Good evening, good evening. Hi, Tara. T. Good evening. Come week, on in. Vicky uh, Wright, Mary in Winchester. Grace. Hi, Vixen. I've landed. God bless you. Yeah, come I'm on Jean in. Rodney. God bless yes. you. Good evening, good evening. The Lord is Ivory. Hope you all Lee have West, had a glorious Maxine day. Maxine Lomas, yeah. Lee City, Texas. Stella. Johnson, pray all is well. Pray that you made a safe landing. I know you went did your ministry. God bless you, Israel. And hi, Sis Pearly. Sis Pearly. Joyce Pearly. Brother Mo. Hi, Big Brother. Uh, Stevenson, God bless you, honeybee. Clarissa. Clarissa, hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> hold me up. I'm just, be, be, I'm sorry, I'm just dancing just, through it. This all of me. Because of who you are. Yeah, come on in. Good evening. Good evening. Cynthia Mitchell, God bless you. Hi, Cynthia. JB is in the house, yes. Jonathan Belt. Hi, Brother Jonathan. Y'all come on in. Hi, Sister Y'all come on in. Come on in. Hope you all have had a glorious day in the morning. Bologna. Mitkiff. Bologna Mitkiff. Mitkiff. Sister Ellie. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm leaving the name of the Lord. Dolores Johnson, I'm sorry. Hi, Mrs. Johnson. Chelsea Emily Brown. My first born. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Chelsea. Y'all come on in. Good evening. Good evening. Janice Mason, I'll be in a bit of prayer for you. Team is. Yeah, I'll have God bless you. Hi, Mrs. Janice. Marie Warren, God bless you. Send you done, Rose Marie Wilson, George. God bless you all. Easy Brook, the boss is in the house. Yes. Yeah. Kevin August, who just uh, made a birthday on another yeah. day. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Where you see many, many more Amen. prosperous. Amen. Greetings to those who are joining us. Help and welcome. Well. Don Marie Landix. Hi, Sister. Oh, yeah. Y'all come on in. We're going to be coming from Exodus, the 15th chapter. If you want to get your Bible, we're going to be moving across uh, the Bible a little bit. Yeah. We're going to preach in the Bible. Jehovah, uh, Start off with uh, the first mention, yes. the healer, Jehovah Rophi. God is our healer. Sister Long, Cheryl, Landry, God bless you, God bless you. Yeah, 
He is our healer in every way, physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever way you need a healing. Oh yeah. He's still in dealing with the names of God and all that it all all that it provides and shares and give revelation. <laughs> Good evening to Good those who are joining us on Zoom. So you are. <coughs> yeah, I feel a whole lot better. The prayers of the righteous <laughs> avail it much. I was, I was, I was back in motion on the next day. I said, y'all, I, I gotta answer promptly. Today, I was able to get a nice brisk walk in on this morning. I was able to get a nice brisk work in on today, this morning. <laughs> somebody got to work. Yes, indeed. She, huh? she retired, so somebody got to go wow, get it. Wow, you were working on long day. Come on now. Oh, Sis Valentine. Uh, God Hi, bless Sis you. Sis Valentine. Hi, Sis Rose. Rose. Trust Claire, God bless you. Nice, nice, trust me. Walk. <laughs> trust me, photography, huh? That's it. Yeah. If you want to get your Bibles and devices Sister, together, we're coming from Exodus. Wendelin Bristol, God bless you. Hi, Gwen, I've been meeting to call you. <laughs> Meet you on Thursday. Yeah, I'm beginning to see how you can lose track of things. Yep. <laughs> they all mesh into one, seemingly at times. Good evening, Brother, Brother Leroy. Leroy. Williams. Sister so, uh, Anderson, come on, God bless you. What is he to you? We've been dealing with the names of God, and we've been hearing and uh, learning about the relevancy of each one, and how we apply it to, as we're reading God's Word, how it really connects the dots. How we really able to assess, of course, yes. uh, whatever we put inside of us, and when situation comes, uh, it's like having a, 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 a checkbook. You're writing it out exactly what it is. Uh, that you need for that situation. That's why it's so imperative that we know it. We learn his name through the Old Testament. Of course, the God in the Old Testament is the God in the New Testament. And so tonight we're going to be dealing with him as Jehovah Rophi, Rophi. the God that healed it. The H-E-A-L-T-H, one who continues to heal us. In every area of our lives. Be mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever healing yes, that you stand in need of. God is that and much more. So you have to declare what he is to you at any given time. What it is you're needing of him at any given time. He provides a healing of bereavement and a comfort, strength. For those who are dealing with emotional uh, pain and all that. About faith now. You got to have the faith to be able to access it, to have it in the account. Of course, you can't write nothing if you don't have anything. But then to know you have it and have faith enough to be able to apply it. Hallelujah. Because without faith, it's impossible uh, to please God. We can't get nothing apart from faith. Yes, he is. He is our everything. 
Jesus said he is my healer. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to touch upon tonight. Him as the healer. He's my Elohim, yes. the creator God. Yes. He is the Lord, my Jehovah. Come on. The one who is, who was, who will always, always be. be. Yes. The Yahshua, Joshua, Jesus Christ in the New the Testament. The air I breathe, the song we sing. Hallelujah. He is the El Shaddai, my almighty God, all yes. powerful God. El Roy God. Yes. God Come sees on, all things. Walk it, walk it, he sees walk it. all things. <laughs> Jehovah Jehovah. Yes. My provider. Wherever you're at, yes. he meets you. If you, you, you yes. He provides when you suppose when you when you supposed to be a, if, if Abraham would have never been to the Mount Moriah, God would have never provided for him. So God yes. may, He provides when you get in the position where you're supposed to be. Yes. Sometimes we miss out because uh, we're not where we're supposed to be. Hallelujah! Praise God! So last we're not gonna, he's my healer. We're not going. We're not going to get too excited today. Yes. We're just going to. We're just going to flow uh, 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 in the in the oil. And he has shown that to you time and time again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, a, and so God is coming to meet us today with a word for a, 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 a healer. God says, I'm your healer. I'm your deliverer. You are my everything. That's who Sister you are. Sister Peters, Yolanda, God bless you. He's my healer. Somebody prayed for me Monday. Y'all know I've got, got a prayer out. <laughs> but uh, uh, we led through uh, through prayers, and I just felt the burden of intercessory, and I just felt the weight uh, uh, that was upon me. I just felt troubled and just so much, uh, even as I was dealing with my own self. But uh, uh, I just believe God heard our prayers, and God heard them, and he answered speedily. Amen, amen. Because that's the kind of God he is. That's the kind of God we serve. He said in his word, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock. And the door will be open. You have not because you. God said, I can't answer nothing if you don't ask for nothing. You are the air I breathe. You are my everything. That's who you are. Fair City of Donaldsonville, the angel of Hi, faith. In the new Facebook live stream, streaming on um, streaming on Sunday from one o'clock to two o'clock. Your best gospel. Yes. And certainly news around on our the community bayou, in and the, community. the state and in the nation. Amen. Tune in. That's at one o'clock to two o'clock. The angel of faith. <laughs> you can pay me later. <laughs> With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started again. Most glorious good evening to each and every one of you all. We hope you've had a joyous day. We are so happy that you have taken time out of your business schedule to join in with us as you faithfully do on a weekly business as we dive into God's word, as we really just... Uh, 
dissect and really just feast on what God has to offer us. And of course, we have been on this journey of getting to know God and getting to know him in the most intimate way. And the most intimate way you can get to know a person is learning their name. And God, we as we have exclaimed, God shares, bears so many names that is so relevant that allows us to connect the dots to learn God's word and, and, and get in the, the grip and the meat of what is being said at any given time. And we're so happy that you have been on this journey with us and we hope you find, you have found this journey to be most informative, uh, most useful, uh, most enlightening. I know I have. Uh, a lot of times you kind of, when you're reading the Bible, you kind of just, you know, engross in reading and not really taking, taking for time. granted, You're not taking time to really dissect and know that there's significance in every little uh, different names and even how they are written in the Bible. So it has really been quite an enlightening journey, uh, I will say, even personally for me. But we're so happy to have you journeying with us at the Emmanuel Baptist Church where we hold true to the mission of spreading God's love. We love the Lord, we love each other, and we love the lost. We are growing and flowing in love, and we are a church that is Christ-centered, Bible-based, and family-focused. And we're so happy again, humbly grateful, to have you all assembled here with us tonight, be it whether you're joining us through our Zoom platform and our Facebook Live platform. So on tonight, we're going to dive in, coming from chapter 15, Exodus chapter 15. I'm going to zero in on verse 26. Again, that's Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, and it reads, And it said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Again, I've just read Exodus, the 15th chapter, verse 26. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his holy word. And as I exclaimed earlier, we have been on this journey of the various names that the Lord bears. And on tonight, we're going to deal with God as Jehovah Rafi. Jehovah Rafi. Receiving God's healing. He is the God that healed it. Receiving it. And so before we dive into the lesson, we're going to ask that the pastor opens up. Let, let our heart, let us lift our heart before God and yes. go before God in prayer, every one of us. Amen. Eternal Father, we come today in the name of Jesus, our heads of our heart lifted up. Come realizing, God, that you're Lord of Lord and yes, King of all are. kings. Yes, and God, God, you are absolutely worthy of all praise, yes. glory, and in honor. And God, as we come into your presence, oh God, we ask, dear God, that you forgive us of all of our yes, sins, God. Lord God. Please sin of commission and sin of omission. omission. Yes. And God, by faith, we receive it. Hallelujah. In an attitude of gratitude, we just want to say thank, thank you. you Lord God, Jesus. we thank you for this day, God. Yes. But truly, this is the day that you made, and we're glad we rejoice in it. Thank you for your new mercy, yes. your grace, Lord God. Yes. And we thank you, dear God, for your strength. As the day yes, so God. shall our strength Hallelujah. be. And God, as we, dear God, begin to deal with this lesson, we're not going in our own strength, but God, we are coming in the strength of, of the, the Lord. Lord. So God, we therefore decrease. We pray that you yes. would increase. Thank speak you, to Lord. us, speak through thank us, you, and speak for us. us. I pray, dear God, a special anointing, Lord God, upon the ears, dear God, yes. of the hearers. Thanks, a special Lord. anointing upon their hearts and on yes, their mind, God. that every ear is attentive, every heart is receptive and yes. every mind is alert now God we lift this word up to you Lord God as a living seed, Hallelujah. we pray Father that it will go forward Lord God yes. and go into fertile ground, Hallelujah. that it will bring forward a harvest, an increase yes. 30, 60 and 100 fold and we're mindful to give you all the praise, all the glory and the honor we ask these and all blessing in the mighty marvelous, magnificent name of Jesus we pray and if you believe it I dare you to type amen Amen, amen, amen. Again, receiving God's healing. He is Jehovah Rophi. 
Praise the Lord. Receiving God healing. So what we're going to do tonight, I want to, um, we're going to go back to the, 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 the first mention in the Bible, of course, where we, where we get the word Jehovah uh, Rofi. Of course, and just the, the, the back part of it in verse 26, and we're going to walk you through it to get here. Mm -hmm. But verse 26, he says, I'm the Lord that healeth thee. Yes. So when we look at the word Lord again, it's all capital, all right? Capital, so yes. we already know he's not talking about the master. He's Come not on. talking about the CEO. Yes. He's not talking about the boss. Yes. He's not talking about the uh, uh, Adonai, but he's talking about Jehovah. Uh -huh. So, and of course, when you look at the word heal it, yes. then you go in your strong concordance. That's how we know the word. Of course, when you look at that word, the Old Testament is written mm -hmm. in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. And so that word now become uh, Rofi, yes. or, or, or Rohab, mm -hmm. Rohab, mm -hmm. Rohab, how you say it? Really? Rofi, mm -hmm. of course, but it's Jehovah, the God that the healed healing thee. Deep. Of mm -hmm. course, so when this healing came about, of course, uh, mm -hmm. Moses mm -hmm. was leading the children of Israel, the book of Exodus, Exit out. They came out of, of Egypt. I want you to follow me. When they came out of Egypt, mm -hmm. they came out through the blood. Remember those 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 plagues mm -hmm. that was in Egypt. Of course, the last one was the the, the, the death of the firstborn in the blood. They were they were covered. And so Pharaoh he said, Let let the children of Israel yes. go. And they they cross over the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. That was salvation. Mm -hmm. But now they go into their promised land and they go into a wilderness, a wilderness. Uh, uh, of sure, which is uh, they're not going there for salvation, they're going in there for sanctification. Mm -hmm. One of the things we have to know as believers that salvation, God saved, yes. uh, but then God doesn't save us to keep us the way we are. Come on. God saved us and with purpose, Come and on. that purpose is to be conformed in the image purpose. of His Son. Yes, yes. And so, therefore, part of that is we got to go through a process, yes. sanctification, a process yes. which whereby we're being conformed in the image of Christ. Mm -hmm. It's a progressive work that begin in the regeneration and carry on in the heart of the believer by the mm -hmm. present mm -hmm. power of the Holy Spirit. So sanctification, now God already worked for me at Calvary mm -hmm. and Pentecost, he's working on the inside Come of me on. so yes. I can be conformed. And so he yes. goes, they go in the wilderness and in the wilderness, they run into what is called shore. In the Hebrew, again, that word means wall. Mm -hmm. Because as Christian, we're going to go in the wilderness. Remember, yes. Jesus uh, are going to the Father's house and, and he came with purpose, but the first place he got, he went after he get baptized, he, he goes in the wilderness mm -hmm. to be tempted. And so they go to wilderness and, and, and three days they go on the journey. Mm -hmm. They had enough water, but then three days, listen, they were singing, they were shouting oh, the yes. victory, uh, they were shouting and <laughs> celebrating, and uh, Marion had a tambourine, and I mean, they were just excited, the verse 18 verse, mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden, three days. They went from they went from music to mourning. Yes. They went from 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 joy to sorrow. sorrow yes. They went from <laughs> happiness to heaviness. They it literally changed. The they had no yes. water. Uh -huh. And then Come finally, on. here it is. <laughs> I want you to finally they they, they find water. And the first thing they did, they dive in it. Yeah, and how many times we done dive in stuff uh -oh. that we thought was good uh -oh. and it's bad. It is bad. How many times we done dive in stuff yes. that we thought was sweet uh -huh. end up being better, bitter. 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 Thing. We done got it. We done time and stuff. Lord thought that Jesus. it was a blessing. Uh -huh. You know, you thought it was the best thing mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah. But then from time past, that's the worst thing you ever mm -hmm. got into. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the best call. You ever had a car that you just bought the moment you got it, you looked at it and you didn't even realize you got a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and so now all of a sudden, mm -hmm. what happened? God says in sanctification, uh, I'm bringing you to a process. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing you to wilderness because I'm testing you. Mm -hmm. And what success. happened now, the people got bitter uh -uh. and start complaining. Uh, murmuring. Uh -huh. Okay, so here's the thing. Y'all know I preached this. Yeah. Uh, uh, the problem <laughs> was, was the people bitter or was the water bitter? Come on. Uh-oh. Was the people, what happened, yes. bitterness was already inside of them. Yes. This was an x-ray. Mm -hmm. To show them what happened. So because that? what life does to us mm -hmm. depends on what life finds in us. Come on. I said that right? Yeah. I said what life does <laughs> to us depends on what life, life finds in, in us. us. Yeah. And so when bitterness came in them, mm. it was when bitterness came out of them, mm. it wasn't a bit of water. Yeah. They started complaining. Started, how you went from singing to complaining? Yeah. How you went from all of this and now mm -hmm. you said Double Moses? Tongue. And so now what mm -hmm. Moses did? He showed us that when Moses was saying, I mean, they complained and talked about him, but, but Moses, he, 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 he began to pray. Yes. He turned to God, uh -huh. even in that situation, yes. and when he prayed, mm -hmm. God opened up his eyes. Come on. He saw what? 
-hmm. A tree. Yes. Now, the tree in the Bible mm -hmm. always represents the cross. Oh, God on. showed him the cross. And so Moses, by faith, the water was bitter, mm -hmm. but he cast a tree in, in the, the water. water. So in other words, he took purpose. He, he took he mm -hmm. took what God showed him yes. and said, even though the, 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 the water was bitter, mm -hmm. but when I put the cross in it, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on now. See, see, Jesus drank up the bitter Connection, cup. Connecting those dots. Jesus drank up the bitter Come cup. On, yes. So we don't have to be bitter. And so he went to Calvary Cross, right? No he bared to. our sin yes. up in his all. body he upon what? All. The tree. Yes. And so when I take the tree and cast it by faith, Come on. he takes my situation and make it what? Yes. And so therefore, it was here that in verse 26 mm -hmm. that he called him the Lord thy yes. God yes. that he did. I don't know about y'all, but that ought to be enough to Hallelujah. shout right then and there. So whatever you are dealing with, remember, if you got faith on the yes, inside of you, faith come by what? Hearing. And hearing by what? The word of and God. And so if we walk by when I'm going through my faith. wilderness, yes. remember Jesus, when he was in the wilderness, mm -hmm. he was tested. Come when on. the enemy came in, like a flood, yes. the spirit lived up a standard. standard. So yes. when the enemy tried to get him to do something, yes. what he said? It is <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, it is written. Uh -huh. yeah. So in two particular areas mm -hmm. we're going to deal with tonight is dealing with the physical, yeah. here's Jehovah Rophi, dealing with physical and Jehovah uh -huh. Rophi, dealing with yes. uh, emotional, mm -hmm. emotionally. And so we're going to go in uh, uh, first Kings. Yeah, yeah, start right, jump right there. Um, so we, to receive God's healing, we must be willing to receive God's healing. We must know him as Jehovah Rophi or Rapha. Mm -hmm. That name reminds us God can heal us in at least two ways. Mm -hmm. Number one, Jehovah Rapha heals us physically. We we all at time become physically sick. Mm. Have you ever been in the hospital, ever had a broken bone, ever had surgery? At those times, I don't believe in human divine healers, but I do believe in divine healing. Come on. Look, let's look at an example in the Old Testament. King Hezekiah, y'all know the familiar with the story mm. of Hezekiah, is sick and near death. Mm -hmm. That's Second Kings 20, 20 uh, chapter. chapter. Mm -hmm. The prophet Isaiah comes to Hezekiah and tells him he is going to die. Come on now. So he should put his house in order. Isaiah then leaves. Hezekiah prays, asking God to remember he has walked faithfully before him and remember the good things yeah, he yeah. has done. Hezekiah doesn't specifically ask for healing, but he is but it is implied. I don't think this is a selfish prayer because Hezekiah has been a good righteous king and wants to continue as the godly leader of the Israelites. Therefore God tells Hezekiah to reserve to return to therefore God tells uh Isaiah, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. to return to Hezekiah and give him a message. What is that message in 2 Kings 20th chapter, verse 5? Is so in verse 5, we already know, he turns yeah. Hezekiah and says unto him, The Lord thy God, mm -hmm. thy Father. Number one, God heard you. Yes. God had received your prayer. He's seen your tears. Yes. Behold, I will. Uh -huh. Here it is. Rofi, I will heal, heal thee, thee. Yes. on the third day thou shall go into the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when I heal you, when I deliver you, uh -huh. when I set you free, yes. he said, you know what you need to do? Go. You need to go into the house, house of, the of the Lord. Lord. Verse 6, there. we needed yes. that. Verse 6, mm -hmm. he said, and I will add unto thee 15 years, Come on. and I will deliver thee from the city and from the hands of King Assyrian, and I will defend the city from mm -hmm. my, for my own sake and for my servant's sake David. So he says, look, when he prayed uh, 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 before uh, the prophet got in the middle of the court, mm -hmm. before he got, he says, go back and tell Hezekiah, yes. I heard his prayer. Heard and on the third day, I uh, tell him cry. I want him to, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to deliver him. Tell him to go to the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when he go to the house of the Lord, I'm going to tell him I'm going to give him 15 more years. Come on. And listen, people, God may not give us 15 years. God may not give us 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, but God will give us life in our years. Come on. Uh oh. Say it again, Pastor. Did I did yeah, I say it right? Say it again. I think they need to hear it again. <laughs> God says, I may not give you 15, 20, yes. 30 years because what good it is to have 30 years Come on. and no life. Yes. But I want God to give me life in Ooh. my years instead of years in my, in my life. life. Hallelujah. That's deep right there. 
Did y'all get what I'm saying? Oh, that's deep. Because <laughs> some people have life. Yeah. Some people got years but uh, no life. But I want to have life Ooh, yes. to my years. Come on. Yes, hallelujah. The Lord still heals us physically mm. through prayer. Come on, prayer. However, we must realize it's not always God's will to heal us. Come on. For example, the Apostle Paul had what he called a thorn in the flesh. We don't know for sure what the thorn was, but some believe it may have been malaria that Paul contracted on one of his missionary journeys. Still, others believe it was failing eyesight because of what Paul wrote in Galatians 6 and 11. Mm -hmm. Whatever the thorn, Paul prays three times for God to take it away. Each time God says no. Instead of healing Paul, God tells him his grace is yeah. sufficient. God's grace is always sufficient. As I have mentioned previously, there are four kinds of grace. Remember those three, four. Four kinds of grace. Number There's one. Saving grace. Come on. Empowering grace. God empowers. Acts. Equipping grace. He equips us. 12, Roman 12 and, and 6. And refining grace. Colossians 4 and 6. God, he does all of that. He saves us. Mm -hmm. he, he equips us. Yes. He, he empowers us. Yes. And of course, he refined us, refine us refine in us. his sufficient Come on. grace. His sufficient this is a grace. sufficient grace. And, yes. and listen, that means God uh, 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 will give us mm -hmm. supernatural power Come on. to deal with a situation that does not change. Yes. Sometimes, listen, I will, sometimes God says, I would rather give you supernatural power mm -hmm. than, 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 than even While heal you. While you're dealing you. with uh, whatever that physical ailment is, in dealing with that physical ailment, God may not necessarily heal you from it, but he's giving you the supernatural power to live, to keep, you know. Come on, Sister Valentine, that's for you. That's for you. That's the prayer. Keep, mm -hmm. I may not change the situation, yes, but I on. will give you sufficient ooh, grace. Ooh, ooh. And that sufficient grace yes. will give you supernatural, supernatural. power oh, yes. to be able to live with that situation mm -hmm. that even in the weakness, yes, you become strong. You become strong. Even when it may not look good, you're still holding on because you, God is get, he's, he he's giving you, su you sufficient he's grace. Keeping you. He's uh, giving you sufficient grace. Hallelujah. You didn't cover a lot of that just uh -huh. there. Watch. it. <laughs> God tells Paul his empowering grace is sufficient because when we pray for physical healing, God will do one of two things. He will heal us or give us the empowering or strengthening grace to live with the condition. Many times God doesn't heal us so we can make what declaration that Paul says in 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Did you want to expound on yeah, that? So 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, and mm -hmm. I believe Paul says, I glory in my infirmity mm -hmm. that the power of God may rest upon me. That's Paul, letter, uh, 12 and 9, let me make sure. Paul's, uh, verse, verse 9, Jesus speaks. Mm -hmm. Okay, Paul said, Jesus said, my grace is sufficient, my strength is made perfect in weakness. And so Paul again said, most gladly, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Therefore, Come because on. of my situation <laughs> is not changed, mm -hmm. he said, guess what? I would rather glory in my infirmity. You mean mm -hmm. to tell me you will glory in, 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 in what you're dealing with? Why? Mm -hmm. Because when I'm glorying in it and I'm receiving his sufficient grace, uh, God power rests upon me. Mm -hmm. And so now God give me power even in the midst Come of on. my infirmity. Yes. Sometimes the real question is, would I rather experience perfect health? Come on. Uh, or God's supernatural power? power. To receive God's healing, we must ask for it. To receive God's healing, you must. we must ask for it. However, if it is God's will not to heal us, so we he will give us supernatural strength to live with the situation. Come on, come on now. That's if somebody, you need man. physical healing and have not received it or the power to live within your condition, the problem may be found in James 4 and 2. And so, Paul, uh, James 4 and 2 just say you have not. Uh, because, your lust mm -hmm. and, and, and you kill, your desire to have, and you cannot obtain. You're fighting and, and war, yet you have not because you yeah, have not. not. Of course, the acronym in uh, Matthew 7, 7 and 8, 7, 7 and 8, mm -hmm. Acts, A-S-K, Acts and it shall be given, mm -hmm. seek and I shall find, knock, knock Come on. and the door on. shall yeah, be opened. Yeah, it's simple, yeah. just act. Yeah. All you got to do is ask. All you got to do is act. Come on, we going to do that? Mm -hmm. 
All you have to do is ask. Got that voice back there. All you have to do is ask the Savior to help you. Okay, we getting there. We getting there. We getting. There. I'm getting ready to get on the stage, y'all. Yes, indeed. Pray for me. Moving on. <laughs> Jehovah, Rafi. Uh, we we find out that God physically heals us. Focus, baby. Get back on track. Focus, 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 focus. You know more than that. Heals us. Now God heals us. Emotionally, come on, move to the emotional part of it. We're going from and physical so, to now emotional healing, and so we're going to go to somebody who were really up talking yeah. about emotion because sometimes our emotion could be up and, and down, yeah. and, and oh, and so, uh, uh, uh and sometimes when we get emotionally yes. hurt, come on, and of course, sometimes we that get to that point, we're depressed, yes. and, and, and we're ready to throw yeah. in the towel, come we're on. ready to give yes. up and uh, uh, give in. But we're going to show you that even in uh, uh, dealing with emotional, uh, 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 having God to heal us emotional, there's mm -hmm. just two things you really need, rest and relaxation. Yes. Oh, it goes a long way. Come on. Come on now. A wonderful example of God's emotional healing is found in the life of the greatest prophet in the Old Testament, Elijah. Mm. One of the most famous events in Elijah's life is his confrontation with the false prophets of the pagan god Baal on Mount Carmel. Oh, mm. Elijah prays one of the most powerful prayers in the Bible, literally bringing fire down, y'all remember the story, Consume. from heaven at Mount Carmel. As a result, 450 false prophets of Baal are killed then a very mean woman named Jezebel, Jezebel. Ooh, ooh, mm. the queen of Israel, sends Elijah a message Come that by the same time the next day he would be dead like those prophets. So he's wow. happy. Now think about she it. Was, I want y'all to follow it. He's up. Yeah, come on. He's excited. Yes. 450 prophet of Baal, the, mm. the Mount Carmel, come to on. show that yes. went down. And man, uh, prophet Elijah, he said, okay, where you going? Maybe he's sleeping, yeah. wake him up. Make and man, he, he dug a hole, drinks, poured the water, 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 and the mm -hmm. fire of God came down now and, 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 and consumed uh, uh, everything on the mm -hmm. altar. And the prophets of Baal were killed. Yeah. And so now Jezebel hears this word. Mm -hmm. She's Jezebel, another word, prophet oh, of Baal. God. She said, okay, you tell him. That by the time next year, the same thing, and next day, he's going to die the same like way. The prophet. And so now, all of a sudden, he's up, and he's down. Mm -hmm. And this he's is what happened. Music mm -hmm. and mourning. Come on. Blessing and yeah, cursing. cursing. <laughs> Sun and, and, and shine and mm -hmm. darkness. I uh, mean, it's raining. It's, it, 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 uh, he, done, it, he gone into an emotional crisis. Mm -hmm. Go ahead on, uh, Sister Brown. So Elijah hears this. He runs for his life, fleeing into the desert. He comes to a broom or a jip, juniper. A juniper tree and sits down, very discouraged, as the pastor said, and depressed. He prays what prayer in 1 Kings 19? Did you want to explain on that? 1 Kings 19, what verse that is? Verse 4. Verse 4. Verse so, so this is him. He's running. He's fleeing for his life. He's going up and down. He mm -hmm. just, and now he's running from a, okay, let me just do this. My he's God. running from a woman. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to just let that sink in. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> he's running from a, he's running from a Jezebel. Oh, my a God. A Jezebel. He done, he done killed 400 A nasty woman. For mm -hmm. you, you worry about an evil woman. My God. And to a point that you read it, the wife says, verse 7. Let me read it. Let me read it. Y'all ain't going to believe mm -hmm. it. Verse 4. But he himself went a day's journey in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. He's in the wilderness. Sat down by a juniper tree mm -hmm. and requested for himself that he might die. My God. And said, it is enough. Mm -hmm. Now, O oh Lord, take away my life. My for God. I am no better than my father. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. you, done, you were walking in, in, in a line with God. Mm -hmm. You done got victory. Victorious. And now all of a sudden, just because mm -hmm. of this, uh, 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 this, uh, evil? this evil woman mm -hmm. who now tried to plot to come, in, come yes. after you. 
You know, mm -hmm. she's coming after you. And if she wanted to get you, if because God's hand was mm -hmm. on you. Why she didn't get Why to you when she sent a messenger? Yes. Mm -hmm. So God was showing you right there and there. Mm -hmm. saying, well, and so the moment he hears this, he runs. Mm -hmm. He flees. He and so now what happened? He flees. What he fleeing? He's not fle he fleeing from Jezebel, mm -hmm. but he's getting outside of My the God. will of God. Yes. And so often when the enemy begin to have us to focus Come on, on on our feeling, mm -hmm. we forget about on the, the fact. circumstances. We, yeah. we, we focus on our feeling, mm -hmm. we forget about our faith. Yeah. And so now he's walking by what he feel and emotionally, mm -hmm. he's ready to throw in the towel. My God, he was walking by sight. <laughs> That's huh? it. Huh? He was ready to but, give but, in. Mm -hmm. huh? Because he's, he's not, he, he didn't hear what God says. On, yes. He heard what Jezebel yes, says. And so guess what? Uh, he, he began to doubt who, he, 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 he really doubted the ability of God. Mm -hmm. Then this great prophet lies down and goes to sleep Go under to sleep. the tree. After a while, an angel touches Elijah and tells him to get up and eat. Mm. The angel has a, uh, has a meal prepared, so Elijah eats and then lays down again to rest. After the prophet rests some more, the angel comes a second time and tells him to arise and eat. This is the only time the Bible records an angel preparing a meal for someone. After some much needed R&R, &R, rest and relaxation, uh -huh. Elijah returns to being a great prophet of God. When we get depressed, we sometimes just need some rest. rest. Hallelujah. When we get depressed. That's what I write tomorrow. We sometimes just need rest. Because when we get all burned out about the trials and the challenges of life, sometimes we are off kilter. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to lose drained. our way. Yeah, mm -hmm. lose way. And that's when we become vulnerable. vulnerable. And that's when the enemy, he's ready to pounce. Mm -hmm. He's ready to attack. And oftentimes he's attacking us where? In our mind. In the mind. And so when in I shut mind. down yes. uh, uh, the mind, when I shut down on, on. on all of a sudden now, yes. an angel praying. of God uh, uh, began oh, to come oh, in oh. And, and minister to him. Yes. The angel of God was sent on that Simon. Where, 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 where he's a to messenger him, from God. Emotional. He prepared a yes. meal for him. Touch come him on. and say, arise and eat. Yes. And then he touched it. Come back again. Mm -hmm. and, and he eats. And mm -hmm. from there, he said, you know what? I'm ready to go back on my journey. Now I begin to be healed. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, yes. why? Because I needed to get away. I needed to get some rest and, some and rest, relaxation. relaxation. And this to is so reset, important. To it's so important for all of us yes. that we have to get to the place mm -hmm. where we have to reset. Yeah. Of course, we dealt with that on uh, this week, uh, 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 Tuesday. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, uh, 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 Jesus tells his disciples, "You know, y'all going and y'all moving, and there's no time for yes. leisure. Y'all didn't on. have time for yourself." Come and on. he says, "You have to come apart uh -huh. uh, to you a desert place." Yes. Matter of fact, you had to he had to go on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Come Literally, <laughs> they, they got away from grief. I'm yeah. setting it up. Uh -huh. Get away where nobody else can. Your, your cell phone can't uh, work out there. No contact. <laughs> you know? yes. Yeah, everything uh -huh. is disconnected. All you mm -hmm. see is water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know some good water, yeah. though. <laughs> and you, you know, you're just away, mm -hmm. and, and you're resting and relaxing, mm -hmm. and now you're getting that, that, recharge, that recharge, and then he gives that to go yeah. back. Why? Mm -hmm. Because God healed him you're a emotionally. Fresh word, a fresh word. And we need that. We need that, all of us. People, yeah, some people come do, apart, some people or you the, will come apart. Yeah, some people do the retreats. The retreats is for that, that, for particular, that particular purpose. purpose, right? To really recharge, relax, Take, reset. Take assessment, just you know, just you know, re recharge. And so here it is. Uh, it's amazing how much better things look after just a little rest and relaxation. When we get tired and depressed, we focus on our feelings rather than the facts. Mm. Like Elijah, we exaggerate the negative and forget about God's power. Mm. The greatest prophet in the Old Testament is Elijah, but the greatest prophet of all, of all time is John the Baptist. Come on. After faithfully preaching God's word and pointing his followers to Jesus, John the Baptist is put in prison for preaching God's word, specifically against the adultery of Herod Antipas and Herodias. While in prison, John gets really depressed because he can't understand why God would allow him to suffer in prison instead of being free to preach. Therefore, he begins to doubt Jesus is the Messiah. He sends two of his disciples to ask Jesus if he really is the Messiah. Praise the Lord. In front of a crowd, they tell Jesus that John wants to know 
if he is really the Messiah. Jesus tells them to go and tell John what? that the blind sees, leopards are healed, the deaf hear, the, the dead are raised. Then John's disciples leave. Knowing the crowd is shocked that John the Baptist would doubt. What does Jesus say to him in Luke 7, chapter 28? Did you want to? Luke finish? chapter 20, uh, 7, chapter uh, verse 28, and says, For I said to you, among those that are born of a woman, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But that is, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. My and so uh, he's talking about John. John is, of course, he's the forerunner of Christ. Mm -hmm. He's the one that 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 stood boldly, you know. And he's yeah. out there in the wilderness, mm -hmm. uh, uh, baptizing. He got locusts in his mouth, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, honey, honey, you know, mm -hmm. and camel, you know, he, he was and, intentional. And he was letting it, and, and general, and I mean, the religious people came, mm -hmm. he used generate for the Bible, who yeah. on you? And so now he's preaching, he talks mm -hmm. about King Herod, he wrote in, and because of his uh, uh, adultery affair and all those things, he gets locked up in prison. And John is locked up in prison, and, mm -hmm. and so now, uh, uh, you mean to tell me, I'm doing the will of I'm God, doing I'm doing what God. I'm supposed to do, and, here I and am. yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm locked up in prison. Mm -hmm. And so now, because he stayed there, of uh, 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 a while, he began to doubt. Emotion mm -hmm. started to set yeah. in. And so John sent two of his disciples mm -hmm. and said, go find out if he's he the one to come. Messiah. Or do we have to look for another one? Yes. You mean to tell me you was the one preaching mm -hmm. that he was the Christ. Mm -hmm. But now all of a sudden, circumstance come yes. and you doubt him. Yes. Isn't it amazing how so many times we mm -hmm. could be on fire for God? Yeah, but then, the moment, the moment, the moment the check stop coming. Oh, uh, come on now. The moment, uh, can uh, come uh, on, the moment uh, uh, yes. darkness start yes. come, cloudy come, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. we begin to question. I wonder mm -hmm. if he's God or yes. this is real. And this I'm is what John. Right and so, so John, I'm living a life that's pleasing to I'm God. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm being, yeah, I'm John being was doing it, and he yeah. put in prison mm -hmm. for doing what is yes. right. And so Jesus, the problem was, okay, I'm in prison, mm -hmm. but when you come and rescue yes. me, when you come and deliver me, mm -hmm. and so he sends the disciples out, and Jesus said, go ahead, tell them this. Mm -hmm. Tell them the blind are seeing, the, 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 yeah. the, 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 the lambs are walking, yeah. the deaf are hearing, and tell them, tell them I'm raising mm -hmm. up the dead. Hallelujah. And then and, and, and just tell them the work that is being wrought uh, uh, by my hand. Of course, in, in the glory of God, of people being delivered. Yeah. Listen, uh, we ought to not ever doubt in darkness mm, what well, God, God has spoken on, to yes. us in the light. Uh, come on now. Whatever he said in the light, when I'm in the darkness, he's still you the gotta same. You got to believe he's still the same. He's he, the everlasting God, right? He's, he's my healer. Uh -huh. He is my healer. Mm -hmm. He is my deliverer. Yes. He is my way maker. Yes. He's all of that mm -hmm. and so much more. Mm -hmm. So don't let your situation or your circumstance cause you to doubt, to doubt who mm -hmm. God is. Yeah, yeah. We have to be encouraged. Jesus understands when we get down and depressed. Jesus understands when life is unfair and we begin to doubt. Jesus understands we are human and sometimes falter in our faith. Mm -hmm. To receive God's emotional healing, we must be honest, and that's the key. Be honest about what it is that, what, that we are enduring, what we're feeling. Be honest with God. Elijah told God he was so depressed he wanted to die. John the Baptist admitted his doubts. Remember, revealing your feeling is the beginning of, of your, healing. Praise the Lord. Revealing your, your feelings, feelings is, is the, the beginning, beginning of healing. Yeah. You got to be open. You got to be honest. You got to be transparent. That's a conversation I was having with somebody. There. Admitting, let me just put it again. This is some some good mm -hmm. stuff. Revealing, Admit, revealing your, feelings. your feeling is the, the beginning, beginning of, of your healing. healing. Yes. All Can't right. keep it to yourself. You gotta find, and, and the the best person to take it to, of course, is God. But God will oftentimes um, send someone in your life that's gonna be their encourager. He's gonna speak to and someone so what, that's and, gonna come. And encourage you. And so what the Which scripture would really share with us is Elijah, of course, a man mm -hmm. uh, of like passion. Of course, uh, uh, even as he uh, prayed that, mm -hmm. it, that it would rain. He was he, he's subject to the same trials and tribulation. And he was at a place dealing with his emotional that he wanted mm -hmm. to quit. And John the Baptist, he's, Jesus said, look, I'm telling you, man, there have been out of all the prophets mm -hmm. in the Old Testament, there have not been none greater than John. Even he who's least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. So he letting us know that just as these two Men of God mm -hmm. would would go to the place of an emotional, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, roller coaster up and down. 
So, so we're going to go through the same thing, but admitting your true feeling is the beginning of your healing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We know we're over time, <laughs> but again, we, we pray and hope that this lesson has really been rewarding, been helpful to really just guide you through whatever trials and circumstances and challenges you're having in life, to really know God, those names and know the significance of those names to help you navigate those issues of life as they come, how we can shift and pivot. You know, we're human, we have emotions. We're gonna go through those spells of, you know, having a glimmer of doubt or question this and that and the other, especially when we feel that we are in spiritual alignment, when we are really trying to live the life that pleases God and somehow, you know, uh, life happens, you know. Um, we, we get tested and remember a uh, previous lesson this is a test this is only a test and when we kind of get in that mindset when we are being dealt various issues various physical mental spiritual deficits when we keep with the mindset that this is only a test and be reminded of what God says in his word be reminded of what God says in the word and really look to that and lean on that we can't be but victorious. We can't be but uplifted and encouraged. And back on that path of really just living a victorious life, knowing that God is who he says he is. And God is one that heals us in every way possible. Physically, emotionally, whatever it is you're seeking, God is. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Again, I pray that you've all been blessed. Again, we uh, continue to pray one for another. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, those who may be dealing with physical, uh, uh, physical Rofi, Rofi. Uh, need of physical healing, those yes. who are in need of an emotional healing, remember God is uh, God with is. Jehovah. Yes. Rofi. He's the God that, that healed it thee. thee. Hallelujah. He's receiving, a heart fixer. Receiving He's a God's mind healing. regulator. He uh, is all that. And a whole lot and more. And a whole lot more. He said, ask and it shall be given. All we have to do is ask. Hallelujah. I'm not going to sing it with her now because we're closing. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it with her amen, now, but again, amen. God bless y'all. We hope you all have been blessed. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, please join us with Sunday School uh, on the go Sunday School on Saturday. Hallelujah. Of course, at 10 a.m. and then our uh, Black History 365, we're celebrating the women's of God this month. We are saluting so yes. many women who have made history, who wow. are making history. And, of course, we are history. We women all history celebrate month. each yes. other. Celebrate. And so we celebrate you, women of yes. God, and just Hallelujah. all of you for all yes. the contribution that you make yes. and continue to make Amen. in our lives of our, 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 of our people. So let us pray. Father, we love you. We honor you. We give you glory again. Father, thank you for another wonderful uh, uh, lesson on today, Lord God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit because we know God, the Spirit of God, teaches teaches us all things. Spirit of the living God, we thank you that you even open up our eyes. You open up our understanding. We were enlightened. We were we were edified, Lord God. We were exalted and you have equipped us, Lord God, that even the God that which you speak to us in the light, we pray that we would not doubt oh, in the yes. dark. You have equipped us, Lord yes, God. God. It's, it's all right, Lord God, to have these feelings, but yes, God, to admit God. them, Lord God, is the beginning of our healing. And so, Father, we thank you today, Lord God, that we we, dear God, even nothing wrong with us for doubting, nothing wrong with us, Lord God, for want to get to the oh, place God. of giving up. Yes. But God, we pray now Come that on, we will get the rest, the relaxation, oh, yes. Lord God, you, Lord and dear God, that you would send a messenger yes. to, to feed us to with your word us, of God, Lord. to strengthen us, to get us back into yes. the alignment with you, to do the assignment that you have on our life. God, I thank you again for every family, Lord God, those who may be dealing with a physical yes, sickness God. right now, God, we stand Stand by faith, Lord God, Hallelujah. that you are Jehovah yes. Rophi. And God, by faith, Lord by God, faith, Lord. we cast it. To, we cast the sickness, we cast the tree upon yes, the sickness. Yes, yes, because yes, even then, God, as you were able to turn the yes. bitter water sweet, Lord God, we know that you can take our sickness oh, and yes. you can bring about healing. God. Lord God, you can take this burden, yes. Lord God, and you can give us Hallelujah. a blessing. Lord God, and you can open up our blood. Whatever it is, God, Whenever, we just throw that. We cast the tree on it. We yes. cast the cross on it. The blood of Jesus Hallelujah. have already healed us, and we declaring and decreeing. It is by your stripe by we your are stripes, here. Lord. God, we thank you even now. 
mind and our God. emotion yes, and our mind, God. Lord God, yes. that every stronghold, Lord every God, Lord. we pull down pull everything down, there, Jesus. God, that is warring against yes. our mind and yes. bring the captivity, every thoughts and in the obedience of Christ. And so, God, we come tonight with the mind tonight, of Christ. Lord. You say you will give us a perfect oh, peace yes. as our mind, mind stayed, stayed on thee. And so, God, our mind trusting you, we yes. believe you, Lord God, that you giving us a peace oh, that yes. passes all understanding. Continue to bless everyone that have been connected yes, to God. us tonight, Thank Lord you, God. Lord. Bless those who may hear this Thank message, you, Lord. Lord God. Thank I you. pray, Lord God, that that they, that emancipation, Lord God, uh, uh, will come forward, Lord God, that they would find freedom and oh, liberty Yes. Thank in this you, lesson Lord. on thank tonight. You. So, Father, we thank you in advance. It is in the mighty, marvelous, Hallelujah. magnificent name of Jesus. I pray. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. We mean it. <laughs> Amen. And you can do something yeah. about it. Y'all know what y'all do. Y'all can love us back. Love I need to see back. some heart. So, yeah. show, show us some heart. I love it when y'all yeah. show me some heart. I feel it. Come on. We love you. Amen. We mean it. Amen. And you can do something about it. Come on, show us some love. Amen. Don't forget, all you have to do is ask. We're going to do that do as Sunday. I think we worked on it tonight. What y'all think? If y'all think I'm ready for it, y'all just hit, show me some love. <laughs> y'all be blessed. Love you all. Hang in there. God is whatever you need him to be. And tonight, you learn that he is your Jehovah Rofi. He is a God that healing thee. He's going to heal you physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever it is you're standing in need of. All you have to do is ask. Hallelujah. Ask. Hallelujah. All you have to do. Okay, let's try this in. My provider. Y'all be blessed. Jehovah needs me. Lord, you Good night.